Hello Kitty's Furry Tail Theater is proud to present Hello Mother Goose. <laughs> Once upon a meow in the magical land of Mother Goose, it started out just like any other day. But then strange things began to happen when Sammy Nimble Sammy Quick went to jump over his candlestick. He discovered the candle was missing. Huh. Then, little Catnip Muffet went to sit on her tuffet. Oh! <laughs> but it wasn't there. And that was just the beginning. Hello, Mother Goose. Your tarts are missing? Hold the phone, Queen Fangora of Hearts. Hello, Mother Goose. Hi, Grinder Pepper. What do you mean you can't pick a pack up? Oh, hold on. Hello, Mother Goose. Yes, old Grandma Kitty Hover? You have a bone to pick? Hang on. Enough! It's not easy being Hello Mother Goose, but there's a job to be done. Straight. Little Catnip Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. No, that's what I was supposed to do. Let me get this down. No way. No curds either. Someone stole my tuffet and I fell and spilled it. Then along came a spider and sat down beside her. <laughs> and frightened little Catnip Muffet away. Get out of my curds and get out of my way. Ah! <laughs> get it? Hey! Don't get on my case! I'm just doing my job! Yeah, if you've been doing your job, my tuffet wouldn't be gone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Says who? Says me. Says you. Says me. I don't have a tuffet, do I? Better check this out. You. Sit tight. Easy for you to say. You have something to sit on. Sammy Nimble, Sammy Quick. But Sam didn't jump over the candlestick. And why? Because the candle is missing. So I put it on top of a tuffet to make it taller. Stay nimble, Sam. Jump over this for a while. I'm gonna borrow this tuffet. Sure, it's not mine anyway. Ugh! It appears that these incidents are related. Oh, Grandma Kitty Hover, you went to the cupboard to get your poor dog a bone? But when I got there, the cupboard was bare. And so my poor dog had none. This candle? Oh, go ahead. I don't need it anymore. Pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. Grinder Piper, I thought you'd be picking a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> How can Grinder Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers when there are no pickled peppers to pick? <laughs> You've got a point. You'd need pickled peppers to pick a pack. You're not kidding. Take a peek at this place. And they took my basket, too. So there I was, proudly picking pickled peppers from my pickled pepper patch. A huge white box passed through, and poof! I was devastated. What's this? Hmm. Pinched peppers. Poor pathetic pooch. I'm okay. I found a bone to pick. <laughs> The mystery unravels. <laughs> little Melody Peep, what's the matter? I, I, Little Melody Peep, have lost my sheep and don't know where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. But that's not what happened. They, they, they already came back with smoke coming out of their mouth, and their tails spinning like a flower. Drank all the water and ran away. All they left was 
was his basket. Which direction did they go? That way. Don't worry, little Melody Peep. I'm hot on their trail. for my pipe and I call for my bowl. But this isn't your bowl, your merriness. You got it, Mother Goose. So now you can't call for your fiddler's three. Right. That's why I'm not a merry old soul anymore. <laughs> I want my bowl. I want it now. <laughs> can keep them forever inch. Queen Fangora of Hearts, you made some tarts all on a summer's day. And the knave of hearts who stole the tarts and took them all away is on vacation. Therefore, your prime suspect has an alibi. Right, it wasn't him. This time. And where is your heart-shaped tart dough bowl, your hardness? The thief who stole the tarts broke the bowl. It's enough to break a poor queen's heart. Well, well, well. The plot thickens. I suppose you're wondering why I called you all here. Yes! Let me explain. I've solved the mysterious thefts. I found they were not thefts at all. But a series of borrowings without permission. While Little Catnip Muffet was on her way to get her curds and whey, Sambi Nimble borrowed her tuppet without asking. Why? He needed the extra height to practice his jumping. The candle was missing from the candlestick. Oh, Grandma Kitty Hubbard had borrowed it without asking. She needed it to look for a bone for a dog in the wee hours. Of course, the bone was gone because Grinder Piper ate it after his pickled peppers were eaten without permission by a white, blurry monster, which was, in fact, none other than Little Melody Pete's wayward flock of sheep. They needed something sweet to wash down the taste of the pickled peppers. And what better sweet than Queen Fangora Hearts' famous tart? When the sheep accidentally broke the queen's bowl... Oh! Ah! The queen was forced to borrow another bowl. From none other than old Grandpa Kitty Cole. Old Grandpa Kitty Cole was thus forced to borrow a poor substitute. <coughs> Chip in the fiddle, dish and spoon. So here's everything I could get back. <coughs> but where are my sheep? Help! Help! You won't believe what happened. Try me, Pop 
a kitty pumpkin eater who had a wife and couldn't keep her? Well, for sure I can't keep her now. This white blur came by and ate up my pumpkin. Oh, oh no! Humpty Dumpty was sitting on the wall, and the sheep ran by and he had a great fall. I'll call the king's horses and all the king's men to put Humpty Dumpty together again. Don't worry, little Melody Peep. The rest of us will go and round up your sheep. on Crocodile Penguin, your book on the next flight out. Wow! Australia! You've got it, Madam Publisher. Oh, it won't be easy, Kitty. I hear the penguin doesn't talk much. Don't worry. I'll get him to talk. Hey, maybe this guy will fight Hulk Alligator. Yeah! We can finally have a royal championship belt. Take a look, Hulk. Champion Crocodile, wrestler of Australia. Australia? What's that? Not what? Where? Look, genius, we're here, and Australia's down there. It's a country full of people. How come they don't fall off? They have Velcro on their feet, dummy. Hey, what's the point? I'll pulverize this little upside-down marshmallow into penguin burgers. Just like that. The point is, everybody's scared to wrestle you, Hulk. This guy might be dumb enough to try. Let's get him up to New York. I can see it now. World Wrestling Championship at Cadison Square Garden. Hulk Alligator versus Crocodile Penguin. What do you think, Hulk? Huh? Think about what? Welcome to Australia. Thanks. Come on in. Crocodile Penguin will be right along.
Baldwin's manager, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's... I got a deal you can't refuse. Turn off the crocodile tears. You get the point, Mike. Thank you, crocodile penguin. That was great. Ah, oh, gee. It's all in a day's work. Hey, I'm hungry. How about we throw a shrimp on the bottom? Yeah.